Hi, I'm Mackie Shellstone. And I'm Spencer Shellstone. I've been talking about, as we have been talking about, I should say, the forgotten core. And Spencer, many people think their perception of the core is the abdominal muscles. But as we said last week, and we'll continue to reinforce, it's much more, right? Yeah, the core is what's gonna be controlling your, your, your lumbar spine, your hips, and your groin area, in addition to what people think, the abs. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a comprehensive, or should I say, complex group of muscles from different parts of the body that all affect our performance. So I've got this band, so I'm assuming this band has something to do with what Spencer's going to teach us today. What is it? So today what we're gonna be going over is the bandit polyp press, and then we're gonna add an overhead press to it. This is a really good global core exercise to do that's gonna help strengthen your posterior chain, your backside, but as well because of the overhead pressing motion, we have to stabilize the internal part of our core muscles in our spine. Well, you know, this is just like, um, you know, in the, in the studio. I'm, I'm going to be the anchor. All the, you know, Eric and team, you know, I'm the anchor now, right? I yep. let go on you and it's real trouble. Okay. Yep. So here you go, take it. All right. So what you want to do is you want to put the band to an anchor point, a fence, a pole, a squat rack, anything Me. like that, or Mackie. So you're going to get down on one leg and then you're going to make sure that your leg that's towards the anchor point is the one that has the knee up. We're then going to turn and rotate and bring the band to our chest, keep it strong, and then we're gonna come back out. And then we're going to raise up and over. Now make sure when you're doing this exercise that when we are coming back up, I'm inhaling and I'm exhaling. Now Spencer, one point to keep in mind, you know, he was working on that, but I can give him some slack or he can release. Right? I can release because so when I'm I was make doing it this. Easier. So I should go on the other side yep. now. Okay, so watch, I'm not gonna hold it as tight. All right. And actually I'm gonna face this way. That way people can see the side of it. So I'm going to, if you want to go right here, turn and rotate, bring it into my chest, come back out, raise up, come back down and bring it back to my chest. Spencer, one point. Notice for everyone, you didn't see me follow his motion. I stayed as a static point, correct? Correct, because that's what anchors do. They don't move. Well, I don't know about that. That's an insult to everyone sitting in the studio, okay? <laughs> you hear what he says? You anchors don't move, so get up off the couch, right? Get off the couch. Now that we've insulted everybody, how many reps should they do? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. You're trying to build strength, Go to six to eight reps and do a heavier band. If you're trying to build endurance, which a lot of people should start with first, go for 15 reps. Okay, well you heard it right here, and all you anchors, get up and move. What's next week? Next week we're gonna be using bands and we're gonna be doing a bandit pull through, uh, similar to doing something like a kettlebell swing or a deadlift. All right, well until then, I'm Mackie Shillstone. I'm Spencer Shillstone. And we're going to march back and um, Come on, anchors, get up, let's get going. He's called you a dead weight. We can't have that, can we? We won't let that happen. No, we won't. <laughs>